dear brothers and sisters today's gospel from john chapter today also we meditated for the good shepherd today also we continue to meditate as i was going through this passage i remember this verse john chapter 10 verses 3 it says the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when uh, i was in seminary first year 2009 so when i shared my testimony uh, one priest one senior priest father george svd so he was with the jesus youth movement accompanying people for many years so he said please write down the testimony it will be useful so i wrote many things and uh, as a premise before like as a presentation as a powerpoint presentation i i wrote more than some 350 slides so in the beginning the starting as a premise i use this verse the sheep hear his voice and he calls them by name he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice they do not recognize the voice of strangers and the following verse jesus says was for although jesus used the figure of speech they did not realize what he was trying to tell i wrote as my testimony continues let me tell you god is greater than man why then do you make complaint against him that he gives no account of his doings for god does speak perhaps once or even twice though one perceive it or not verses taken from job chapter 33 verses 12 and following bible also says in hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 and 2 in times past god spoke in partial and various way to our ancestors through the prophets and in these last days he spoke to us through his son jesus is telling he speaks to us and his sheep hear his voice but how come a person or a sheep is not able to follow the master if he is speaking it's very simple we are in this small chapel we have a big cathedral we are sitting very close i am speaking you are able to listen maybe other side we have another small area baptism where we administer baptistry a person who is sitting there he cannot listen my voice yes or no who is nearby can hear voice clear in the same way when we are close to god in prayer we can hear god's voice clear but when we are not tuned when we are not close to god we cannot that's what we see in the whole salvation history moses was seeing the burning bush but only when he go closer he could hear his voice and today we heard in the first reading peter is saying he heard a voice and voice told him what to do he was fixed with certain traditions and he is not able to come out but god comes and speaks to him it is true that when sheep is close by it can hear the voice of the shepherd in the same way when we are close with god in prayer we also understand what is the will of god but at times it doesn't happen is the shepherd is leaving us no jesus says he is a good shepherd and he goes behind that lost sheep leaving all 99 behind he goes in search until sheep hear his voice some of you know that i will be going shortly from here so maybe i will tell few things about my life then i will i happen to hear the voice of god surely god speaks to everyone not only for few people but he speaks in different ways as a child i always heard god's voice through my parents and that is what god has chosen yesterday we celebrated mother's day and also good shepherd and good shepherd we all the shepherd as a bishop priest we say all the people who are shepherding spiritually also and god speaks through our family through the parents to mother father and to teachers everybody and uh, my life went on like that i discerned god's will through my father whatever he asked me to study i pursued those courses i finished but at a certain point of time i felt god is speaking to me through people to the community faithful in my parish and they started asking why can't you become a priest 
not once twice it went on for four years many people without knowing much about me also maybe sometimes in the first encounter itself people used to ask why can't you think are you a brother or you a seminary i felt maybe god is asking me to think about priesthood that's how the desire to priesthood started so first god start speaking to me preparing me for this priesthood through my family through my father then through the community in my parish after few years in 2006 I heard a mystical voice like how St Peter is telling that I heard a voice voice speaking to me something I heard Jesus youth ki enduku cheyaled this word at least you didn't understand because you don't know telugu maybe Jesus youth is a english word enduku cheyaled is a telugu word which is grammatically not so much correct which means something closely we can understand as why are you not doing for Jesus youth i also didn't understand and then I thought maybe God is asked me to work for Jesus. Then I started becoming active in Jesus. Then some people when I approached for the guidance spiritual guidance people said maybe God wants you to become a Jesus youth not to work for Jesus youth. I became full time I resigned my job went for Thailand to become a lay missionary. Then during one year of commitment one more priest father Cherian who passed away last year. He guided me maybe god wants you to become a priest for the jesus youth movement i accepted that and i became priest now last 5 years now god is speaking to me through the shepherds of india ccbi to go and work in their office in bangalore god speaks and it is up to us to listen and god speaks daily and sometimes when we stop in our world in our traditions in our culture it is difficult but still god comes just like how he came and he spoke to peter we should be open to listen and when we listen god voice will be very clear to us and god has spoken through bible whatever we need to know for our salvation god has already spoken in the bible and when we are tuned in prayer and when we prayerfully read the gospel his word his voice will be very clear in our lives let us ask god to speak to each one of us personally